Yeah, what's going on, y'all? He's ready for uh, another camping adventure. I know I sure am. Chair, sodas, food, change of clothes, firewood. Go check the oil. Don't forget to do that. Good, but I'm gonna give that a shot. 
onion, tomato. <sighs> I'm gonna forget something for sure. How can there be this many choices for rice? I have no idea what I'm doing here. All right, here we go. Time to get angry. How do you... Oh, that's loud. Well, that went better than expected. I found everything I was looking for. Pretty good start. And then I went through a self-checkout and that worked. That's never happened. Last time I tried one was here and it was terrible. It didn't work at all. It doesn't sound like much to most of you because I'm sure a lot of people use those things. I just normally don't. So, that's, uh, that's not bad for me. You just gotta understand, I'm a person that can barely use a cell phone uh, or a card reader to gas pump. That never works for me, so. I don't know how I'm able to use this camera and edit videos. Well, I mean, you've seen me edit my videos. That's not great, but hopefully it's at least watchable. Uh, I'm gonna stop rambling nonsense now. I gotta get to a gas station and get on down the road and see if I can't find this place and then somewhere to camp, hopefully. So, I guess you've been here this long, you might as well watch for the end, right? Well, we have arrived at the falls for a nice little playground, some pavilions. Well, a pavilion. Man on a mower. We do have a gift shop. So we do have a bit of a hike to get down to here, but it's a really nice place. It is a state park, by the way. I thought it was, but I didn't want to tell you wrong until I got here, but yeah, it's nice down here. Oh, even got some little grills. You can see that right there. But it definitely closes at dark. So, can't really camp down in here, I'm guessing. It is one nice day. I did see a sign that says no swimming or wading. I assume that means for all the water. But yeah, it is currently 70 degrees. When I edit that later, my hand's gonna be too high. That's for sure. Cause I don't know where to put it. And I don't know where I'm going. I'm, I'm passing the river. Hang on, let me figure out where I gotta go here. Okay, yep, I was definitely going the wrong way. Oh, oh, fell in the ditch. Across the tracks. All right, I see a walking path down there now. I gotta get to that.
Well, that's the falls. I could definitely sit there and listen to that all day. Nice and relaxing. Be nice to sleep near here. Like I said, I haven't been here in a long time, but I don't remember being that big. I thought it was just like a little bit of falls. I don't know. And I know to some of you out there in bigger country, that's nothing, but it's not bad for around here. Yeah, not a bad spot. So now the search begins for somewhere to camp. My lead on the area gave me some pretty bad directions to a spot. So I'm going to see if I can't find that. Should have plenty of daylight left as long as I don't get too turned around. So I've managed to find my way across the river. I like this view as well. Right over there, you probably can't see it, but there's a lady walking, I don't know, right there somewhere. That's where I was earlier. That's that little cove back in there I sat at for a little while. I know the uh, camera does no justice, but that's a good ways down. Like that, it looks like a stick in the camera. That uh, log is way bigger around than I am. But the road getting down here was trash. Probably gonna get some of that going back out. Yeah, this road is absolutely terrible. I keep calling it a road. It's not really a road. It's like a trail more than anything. I found a spot. Overlooks a nice pond. But it's in a campground. As you can see, right there's a camper. The complete opposite of what I wanted. But as you saw from that clip of me coming out of the other place, that was rough. That was on my way out. I thought I was recording at the end where I stopped and I wasn't. Huge mud hole. Couldn't get through it at all, for sure. I don't have my winch with me, so I didn't want to get too crazy. So this campground was like 20 minutes from there. <sighs> so disappointing. <sighs> so I need to get a fire going and get this food kind of ready to go. So I'm getting hangry anyways, and it's getting late, so... Let's see if we can do something here before it gets too awful dark. Way too much wood again. Fire's going pretty good actually. That's kind of in the path of it. Found these at a gas station. I'm gonna try those. Give me a little snack while I wait for that to burn down a little. Blue Diamond Almonds Extremes, Carolina Reaper. Hottest. I don't know. Let's see how intense they are. Can't imagine they're gonna be that crazy. That fire is like blowing right up my skirt. Not that extreme. Yeah, those are pretty good. Like a tongue tingle. I don't know, I'm not very good at like heat scale. I'm gonna say like a, I don't know, seven out of 10. So I'm not exactly sure why, but for some reason, I've been in the mood for a red eye. 
which I don't know exactly what it consists of, but beer and tomato juice, I assume. I've always had it. So, I'll go for one of those. Even brought a mug. I think a whole five and a half ounces might be a little much. Yeah, I'll try like half. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people don't like tomato juice, but that is pretty solid. This should sit right on top. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, that'll cook my rice. All right. I'm gonna melt my handle. Two cups of water. 16.9 ounces. Close enough. All dirty. It'll be alright. Should get hot pretty quickly. Alright, well, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and get my veggies prepped here. A real table here, so I'm just kind of doing it on my tote inside the vehicle, but it worked just fine. Found me a nice little aroma tomato. I say it every time. I say it every time. This might be the day I cut myself with this ridiculous knife. But this thing is a champ. I'm not sure what it cost. It was gifted to me. But I've seen similar ones and they're uh, pretty expensive. Tomatoes done. Let's see what we can do for the onion here. Fire is stoking up pretty good. The water's got to be getting fairly warm by now. Yeah, that's uh, that's good. Combine it all, bring it to boil, all that good stuff. And rinse the heat cover. 25 minutes. Wow. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going half, which is what I meant to do originally. I didn't mean to put all that water in there. So I definitely dumped half of it out. I think that's about half of the rice. So that's probably about half. Being that fire so hot, I think I can go ahead and throw my chicken on. Of course, they don't just sell like a piece or two of chicken. So I had to buy a whole pack. I don't need a touch of butter. I'm gonna say probably a decent bit because I don't want them to stick and burn. I get a feeling that is, yep, really hot. Really hot. What I'm gonna do to season the chicken. I'm gonna go a little taco and a little danos. I think that would be pretty good. Danos is low sodium, so you can't really overdo it too awful much. Taco seasoning on the other hand. Can't probably read that, but yeah, it's a little heavier on the salt, but I'm gonna give it a little bit for some flavor. Oh, that's too much. Alright, chicken's going. Rice is going. like a herb crust or whatever, like blackened. Okay, 
Apparently I have a rabbit friend now. You can see him, that walks right in the way. Right there he is. You can see him right there. Whenever where I go, this bird's screaming. Somehow, the rice is actually perfect. Start to stick, I got there just in time. Chicken appears to be done. Oops, anyways. Hey, that was overkill on the fire. All right, I need this to heat up my beans. Because all I brought was this pot and the one skillet. I almost just got like a regular old can of black beans, but I saw these. Baja black beans with onion, sea salt, and all the cut up. All but avocado oil so I'm sure they couldn't be too awful bad maybe I don't, know. don't need a ton I'm gonna save about half of those as well these are like a pre-cooked deal so they're not gonna take much heat at all I got my cutting board right up there with onion on it not really sure why I didn't just uh, put the onion on a plate and use that do this instead that's what I'll do Make everything way more difficult than it has to be a little boil thing okay? bad enough all right so we've already got the rice down on a plate so I'm just gonna kind of do that Spread it out a touch. I even try this. Mm-hmm. Wow, that is really good actually. Chicken. Way too much onion. Now tomato. I'm gonna go all tomato. Tomatoes are pretty good. Can't really ever do it with those, right? Beans are definitely good and hot. Add those on there. Taco Bell has a similar bowl like this, and then I think you can make these at like Chipotle and Qdoba. And I haven't had one in a while, so sound pretty good. A few more ingredients. Yep, this is, this is way too much. Colby Jack, a little bit left in there, I'm just finish that off. A little lettuce. And then lettuce is another one of those things that I really wish they had in a smaller bag. I mean, that's way too much. Because, like, I wanted like, that much on there. And that's definitely plenty. So, this will probably sit in the fridge and go bad. Thinking a little salsa verde, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Set a little pressure on it. I never really liked guacamole when I was younger, but last couple of times I tried it, it's pretty good. So maybe I'm coming around. You know, just like that much. Mm, yeah, that's that's probably good. And I just realized that it doesn't have a lid. The lid was the plastic. Okay. Go. A touch of sour cream. So that is now like a two pound plate. Way too much. But I do have a new hot sauce to try. I've never had a Cholula I didn't like. They used to have that spicy, or not spicy garlic, chili garlic, and it was amazing, and they quit making it. So hopefully this wasn't good. I don't know. We'll try it out. You, you can't see that. Tequila and lime. You probably just saw that a minute ago. But So I'm guessing it's going to be more for flavor than like heat. And definitely doesn't say anything about being crazy hot. 
Mm -hmm. Heavy on the arm. Hmm. That is a different flavor for sure. I don't drink tequila, so I don't know if it's supposed to actually taste like that. Definitely heavy on the lime and something else, and I'm assuming is the tequila. Oh, pretty good. Has a little kick. I mean, it's not like crazy spicy. I feel like I can go a pretty decent bit on there. Good enough. I mean, it kind of looks like a hot mess, but it smells good. I don't know. Every plate I used, I put under here because I knew that was going to be like hefty. It's hefty. I don't know that I'm going to finish this whole plate. Uh, let's see what we're dealing with here. Get a little chicken, a little rice, sour cream, guacamole. On that side, anyways, tomato. Mm. That is so much better than I thought it was going to be. I didn't even get black bean on that one. A little black bean, sour cream, guacamole, lettuce. I'm not even kidding you. So much better than like Qdoba, whatever it's called. Wow, that's solid. Okay, chicken, guacamole. What else we got here? Black beans and hot sauce. Definitely want to try a bite with the hot sauce on it. I feel like it should pair pretty good with this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I like it better with the hot sauce or the chili verde or whatever that verde sauce is I think I might like the verde better actually I like that rice cilantro lime I will get that again it's my first time trying that I think guacamole is pretty good I mean I don't know if I'd call it spicy I may have a kick to it a little bit Not much of one. Like, I really didn't think this would turn out bad by any means. Way better than I expected. But, uh, made too much. I don't know why everything I make at camp is so messy. Should just eat bread. But told you last week, I was gonna mix it up. Kinda nice to have a little chicken. Been a minute. That was for sure enough to feed two people. Oh, yeah. Very full. But that was tasty. I'm very pleased with how that turned out. You know, for a campground, this place is like very silent other than the birds. And there's campers over here, like there's just no one here. It is a Wednesday, but still. Whew. Shouldn't have done all that. So, fire's down down, I gotta get that grate off there. Stuck that back up. Clean up my mess a little bit. Maybe pop my chair out. Relax for a few because uh, it's been quite a day.
I slept great. But it is getting warm in here and I need a coffee. Oh. Yep, it is definitely time to get up. I don't know why, but I just cannot get away from mud anymore. Alright, well, pretty easy cleanup. Didn't really leave a lot out. it was a campground I didn't want to do that but I didn't get here till 6 yesterday burned up a lot of time going down that other path trying to find that camp spot that dude told me about and it would have been a great spot like if I could have got down in there but I mean, I can't camp like right on a trail going up and down, you know what I mean? Like it just, there wasn't a spot there. But it would have been really nice to camp down there on the other side of those falls. Cause I definitely would have slept with all the windows down and listened to that water run and slept even better. But it was rough. That's definitely more of like a um, Jeep trail, side by side trail. Um, do have a new coffee to try Starbucks cold and crafted made with cold brew milk and mocha I don't know I don't know that I've ever had a Starbucks in my life I don't think if I have I definitely don't remember it's a huge opening It's not bad, actually. For some reason, I thought someone had told me that Starbucks wasn't that good. But that's not terrible, actually. Definitely not overly sweet. Not heavy on the mocha. Might have to have another one of those one day. Okay. Some guy cutting in here. Coming right at me. We know how you miss a big black suburban. Right in broad daylight, but that chicken bowl turned out way better than I thought it would. That uh, hot sauce, not bad, not my favorite. The lime flavor is kind of good, but I'm guessing it's tequila flavor that has the weird kick to it. I don't know. It, uh, yeah, not terrible, not my favorite. Wouldn't buy it again, but I'll definitely have it on something else. Glad I went with chicken this week. And I got plenty enough to make that whole big plate again. So, definitely uh, looking forward to those leftovers. I'm going to get home and try to edit this. Hopefully, this turned out all right. I don't know. I doubt it. But hopefully, at least I got some good shots of the falls. It's not a bad spot. And I couldn't have picked a better day. My uh, thermometer yesterday was reading 70 while I was there, but it was like bringing on a sweat. So the humidity must have been pretty high. Because so I want to jump in there. So I've been waiting to get in the water this whole winter. And this warm weather and water has really got me wanting to jump in. Like my brain knows that it's like, you know, mid spring, but. I still like expect cold weather like this morning when I woke up like I was definitely too warm in here I didn't crack any windows like a dummy but yeah still taking me a minute to understand that when I get out and the sun's out it's gonna be warm so yeah I'm ready for water activities maybe checking out some like swimming spots definitely more waterfalls um, there is somewhere in the state that I'm planning on doing a hike in I got a buddy want to do that with me so that might not be a solo trip if he uh, still wants to do that 
So if we get to do that trip, that should make for a pretty good video, I do believe. I've never actually done a hike-in kind of camp trip, so I'm looking forward to that one. So that sounds interesting. Look forward to that in future videos. But typical end of the video fashion, I'm just rambling about nonsense. Talking about things that haven't even happened yet. Yeah, I'm, uh, I think I'm about 45 minutes from home, so I'm going to finish off my coffee and do that. But for now, thanks for watching.